Hello everyone, this is Square Triangle Mouse and today I'm showing you a game of Humankind in which, as you can see at this point in the game, it's turn 163. I have 16 land armies, many of them with 6 units per army, which means I probably have more than 60 units total. And when I go to my gold per turn, you can see that I'm losing no money whatsoever in army upkeep. So I'm paying zero gold for all of these units. Doesn't matter how many of them I have, I'm not paying any gold. The reason for this is uh, a test that I wanted to do, playing with the Argentinians on the industrial era. And you can see here I have 50 salted beef. So I played in a Pangea map, um, a huge one. You can see I have a lot of competitors. Um, this is the, the largest possible map with 10 competitors total, so me and another 9 players. And so it's a very very large map and uh, with I think 70% land, so this is a standard Pangea map. Not even the large Pangea that has 90%. With a 70% land in such a huge map you can easily get 50 territories and with that you can get 50 Saladeros which in turn will give you 50 salted beef uh, and as you can see a 2% army upkeep reduction per salted beef we now have 100% army upkeep reduction so we can keep building any units we want like a gazillion units it doesn't matter how many I build I will always pay zero for the upkeep okay we have some of these uh, units are supposed to be costing me 30 gold per unit and as you can see for the entire army I'm paying zero. So that's uh, quite interesting. Uh, someone asked in the forums could it be possible to do this and I wanted to test it in a real game. This is um, a game on humankind difficulty. If you have been checking this channel you know I only play this game on humankind difficulty. It's really not so difficult so you can usually play in the highest difficulty and, and do well. You can see here even this is the moment where I reach the, the 50 salted beef units um, and I was already winning so even before having 0% army upkeep I was already leading in fame. Um, that being said at this point I wondered hey could I could I dominate the entire map like could I, could I conquer the entire map building even more units. What if I pick the Americans which are usually considered to be um, the weakest um, culture in the in the contemporary era we know that this unit comes too late and uh, in general um, early units are really bad in this game so uh, yeah this defense agency is, is really weak and even the American ex except exceptionalism <laughs> sorry um, trade is also not so awesome so overall a very very weak culture and I thought if I keep it uh, sorry if I pick it can I conquer the entire the entire map? I mean, there is a lot to conquer here. Will I do it? Well, let's see. So we fast forward to turn 224. This is standard speed, so the maximum number of turns would be 300. Um, first of all, I would point out that uh, I build one more uh, Saladero just to see if the minus 102% army upkeep would give me a positive uh, here it actually uh, doesn't really work um, so as you can see here I'm even paying for army upkeep I don't know where those 340 are, are coming from I think earlier in the game I had zero yeah the Saladeros don't work on the on the air armies uh, I was building some nuclear missiles at the end also so um, yeah we are paying for this but uh, for uh, the land units we can see here we are still paying zero we don't get a positive outcome for having one extra okay so just keep that in mind having more than 50 is useless uh, the plus 200 stability in all cities is more than enough uh, to <laughs> uh, because not only you you get the reduction army upkeep of course is each one of these salted beef items counts as a luxury so that's a lot of luxuries as you can see there so uh, that's also very good when you have you know cities like these or these like really large territories being covered by just one city 
I was conquering a lot as you can imagine um, yeah so all of these cities are really huge anyway um, I look at this one this one went to zero I don't know how that happened I wasn't even checking uh, but yeah Nineveh for example which is also huge is at 100 this one is at 79 so yeah shouldn't be a problem anyway as you can see here I couldn't conquer the entire map I did I played with the Americans for uh, many more turns that I would like to play with the Americans because they are very weak in this game and, uh, and yeah I'm conquering more as you can see I'm still fighting wars I started fighting a lot of wars with my with my ridiculously high number of, of units of all kind really like most of these 30 uh, armies uh, are at around seven or eight units per army so it's just a ridiculous amount of, of units um, but unfortunately I forgot that I had left all of the standard um, endgame conditions and one of the endgame conditions is that if a player gets all of the era stars in the contemporary era uh, the game will be over uh, and I got all of the contemporary era stars here I got the last one on turn 224 and so I didn't have uh, time to conquer everything I would have had the time uh, because as you can see I'm bleeding in fame by a lot the guys that are in the contemporary era got there a bit later than me so I was getting uh, much more modern units I'm already I think in, in a couple of places I don't know where really but I, yeah I'm building some cruise missiles here and maybe yeah thermonuclear missiles over there so I was about to destroy everyone very quickly but uh, as I said getting all of this era stars in the contemporary era will finish the game I had completely forgotten about this um, and so without realizing it I, I ended the game for myself uh, it's really really easy to fight when you have such a ridiculous amount of armies such a ridiculous amount of units uh, that you don't care about because you are not paying for them I'm getting more than 57,000 gold per turn which is insane and so here comes the last question of this video which is uh, are the Saladeros so broken that they break the game because of this because of this 0% army upkeep on land units um, well I would say the answer is no they don't completely break the game uh, now hear me out the reason why I don't think this is breaking the game is that I had to get a very specific mark for this this is a very large map, it's the largest one and even on that one I had to pick Pangea to get the 70% uh, land coverage to be able to get 50 territories in the industrial era and I did play some of the stronger cultures here I got uh, the Mycenaeans, br brutal upbringing that's the Mycenaeans here I got the Achaemenid Persians for the plus 2 city cap which is extremely strong um, in these uh, Pangea maps oh yeah I got the Khmer that we all know are overpowered uh, then I got the, um, the Japanese which are not so overpowered but they are still strong so I had to pick some very very strong cultures and pick a Pangea map which in my opinion is the easiest type of map because the AI really doesn't know how to make the most out of the extra land and especially if you get to pick the Achaemenid Persians you can be really really strong in, in Pangea maps so I had to get some very specific settings to get 50 territories by the time I picked the industrial era making sure I got the, to the industrial era very fast so I could uh, I could get the Argentinians and then I started to build Saladeros like crazy this is very strong in, in another type of map I would say yes I would say it is strong okay in a normal map you might uh, by the time you get to the industrial era if you've been expanding a little bit in the early game which uh, most of the times you will do because early game expansion is usually very good in this game then you might maybe have 25 territories right and get a 50% upkeep reduction which is strong I'm not going to lie it is strong I wouldn't say it's completely broken uh, it makes the Argentinians a strong culture but uh, since this is also coming in the late game I wouldn't say it's broken okay I would say for example the Khmer because they come two eras earlier they are still mod more broken than the Argentinians because uh, early game is more important than late game 
That being said, this is strong. It is a strong strategy. If you are the kind of player who enjoys Pangea maps, I am not. But uh, if you are the kind that enjoys Pangea maps, then this is very, very strong. Probably the strongest uh, strategy for the industrial era right now. Uh, but if you don't play on Pangea maps, if you go to a continent's map with 40% land, then this is not uh, broken at all. Uh, it's good, it's a good strategy for sure, but it's not uh, ridiculously broken. Keep in mind, this is not affecting air units, and if I'm not wrong, this is also not affecting naval units. So if you have a lot of continents, you created some sort of, uh, you know, island map, then this is also not going to be so strong. So I wouldn't say it breaks the game on normal games, on normal maps, but if you set them up like I did here, yes, it can totally break the game. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. Okay, 33 land armies paying zero maintenance just uh, makes no sense uh, whatsoever. So yeah, it all depends on which map you get. Okay, if you set up the map specifically for this strategy to break the game, then yes, you will break the game. Um, but then again, if you play a map with a lot of islands, then Carthage is broken. You know, it's already strong normally, but if you can get a lot of harbors, I mean, the, the Carthaginian harbor is just so strong that it could break the game, right? And the Achaemenid Persians are, are ridiculously strong in Pangea maps as well, and the Khmer are super strong in everything. So uh, I, could, I couldn't say this breaks the game, but it definitely does make the Argentinians are very strong especially when you have a lot of land percentage yeah that's a funny strategy i hope you enjoyed the game uh, please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff because this is a small channel where i'm trying to make it grow but i need a lot of likes a lot of subscribers because otherwise no one uh, you know the, the youtube algorithm really punishes my videos so um please remember to do that it's free it's just one click away and it helps a lot so thank you very much for that, and as usual, as I always say, thank you very much for watching.